<laughs> All right, my friends, we do need a new um, shred and stretch up. I know I love the music too, my friends, but YouTube doesn't always like it when we play the music. All right, so let's get started. I just lost my, my earpiece. All right, my friends, let's start with a little shuffle side to side. So this is our warm up, right? We're gonna get right in to all of our moves, but take it a little bit easy for this first one, right? This is one of our moves, but we're just kind of taking it easy the first time through. Second time through, we'll turn up that intensity on it a little bit more as we start to warm up the body. All right, we got 30 seconds right here. Just that little shuffle side to side. One minute moves, seven moves, we'll do them twice. We'll have just a little bit of kind of transition time. We'll move right into that stretch. All right, 15 seconds to go right here. We're gonna take it up and over, river dance coming up in 10. You got it. I'll give everybody a big welcome as they make their way in. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go, up and over, up and over, river dance. All right, we've got Lauren joining us, Indy. Welcome Samantha and Diane, Allie. Good afternoon, is it, is it afternoon everywhere now? I think Sarah. Welcome Lorraine and Leslie and Marie and Tara. Ah, oh, so good to see you all. I like don't know what to do when I don't have music. <laughs> so we are recording today though. So we'll have, have a new, new on demand up. You got it, my friends, halfway there. One minute moves, they're long intervals. Seven moves, we'll do them twice. Ooh, I'm already winded. Ah. Oh. Come on, up and over. Now remember, everything can be low impact, right? Right here. You don't have to jump. You can 100% keep it low impact. What did Lauren say? Yeah, you can always definitely play music on your own. I do that sometimes if I'm taking a class and there's no music. All right, karaoke, front and back, front and back, sticking with that lateral movement right here. Give those hips. A little swivel, my friends. Swivel, swivel, swivel. I'm just so proud of myself. I actually remembered to hit record. Y'all got to give me credit for that. <laughs> we got this. Fast and furious. Shred and stretch. You look great, Lorraine. Awesome. Sarah, Allie, you got it. Keep it going. Nice, Diane. Heart rates are up. We got this going on. We're going into squat front kicks next. 15 seconds. We're gonna squat low and kick high in eight. You got it right there. Three, two, and one right here. Squat and kick. So if you took a class with me earlier today, I was telling you it is raining here. The cold front is coming through. It's been raining all day. I went walking this morning. They were like light drizzle. I like, okay, I can go walking in light drizzle. About 20 minutes into the walk, when I'm as far away from home as possible, that light drizzle became absolutely heavy downpour. <laughs> I was trying to walk, I couldn't see. I was like, I gotta make it home. And it's been pouring since. So lots of rain and it's getting cold to so see it's all my fault because I was, laughing at Christine yesterday because she said she was cold. And I was like, I've got my air conditioner on. Yeah, now it's raining <laughs> and cold. That's my punishment <laughs> for making fun of Christine because she was cold. All right, we got this. Skips are next. We're gonna take that knee, drive it up right here. Drive it up. So here's that low impact, right? I don't have to jump. Here's that higher impact. Welcome Fran, welcome Val. You got it, my friends. I love it. You look amazing. Awesome, Lauren, Indy, Samantha. We got it going on. So remember, I don't have to do impact on any of this. I can't stick with a lot of low impact, my friends. Every once in a while, I get a little burst, I jump. But I can keep my heart rate up. Mine is like sky high right now, even with everything low impact. You got it, and I love it. You look great. Welcome, Jill. We got 15 seconds to go. We got two more moves. I'll give you that short break, and we do it all again. So two seven-minute sets. Woo. 
Woo. We're going in to kick up your heels and run right here. So you can kick them up. You can take this kind of high impact jog or get low and pull right here. Works perfect. I have high intensity, low impact. You got it. Awesome, Leslie. So I don't know, is it raining in your rumples, Leslie? You're getting a lot of rain too, yeah. And it's getting cold. It's gonna be cold for football tomorrow night. Cold for worst fest, Leslie. Oh. So I used to live in New Braunfels. Leslie's kind of my connection to VFIT. I didn't know Leslie, but Leslie knew a friend. And Leslie is Steph, um, Stephanie's daughter. And Leslie lived in the same town as I did. And so she knew a yoga friend of mine. And Leslie mentioned the yoga teacher online. And my friend was like, oh, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing online. So she asked me, I was like, yeah. And that's how I found VFET. All right, my friends, we're going into back kicks right here. Kick it out, kick it out. And then shortly thereafter, I moved to Colorado for a few years. And now I live in Austin. And Leslie and I, we did meet, right? Did we meet in person? <laughs> I'm like, did I even meet you in person, Leslie? Oh. But that's how I found VFIT through Leslie's daughter, Stephanie, who lives in kind of the same area as Rochelle. We got it right here. Come on, come on, kick it out, kick it out. You're gonna get that quick, just about a 15 second break, just long enough to grab a drink and say, oh, can I take a breath? And then we're going again. 15 seconds left right here. So I know many of y'all might have known my how I came about to VFIT before, but some of you might not have heard that story. They were looking for a yoga teacher. Oh, here we go, take that break right there. So I came on, taught yoga, eventually ended up teaching just about everything. I've been with VFIT five and a half years. So about six months into its start. All right, we ready to do that again? So we're gonna start with that shuffle tap or just shuffle, but this time squat and tap the ground. Ready, let's do it. Shuffle, squat. Now you don't have to put that squat in there, right? You can still just shuffle side to side. Or since we're nice and warm this second time through, add that little squat. You got it right here. Side to side. Come on, come on. Oh, I am breathing hard. That's what it's about. Right, this is our cardio portion of the class. Welcome, Daniela. You got it, Anne Marie. You were there. Awesome, Allie. You look great, Diane, Sarah. Working it out, Samantha, Lorraine. Come on, right here. Just 10 seconds. We go into our river dance. Up and over in five, two, and one right here, up and over. So again, here's that low impact, right? Raise the roof. We do this move all the time in chair fit. So we can also do all of these moves in a chair, my friends. So there's no, no excuse. We can find something that works for you or you can bring in a little bounce. So we do sometimes have to, you know, back off change if we're ill or injured. Sometimes we need to completely rest. That's okay. But reach out to us, my friends. If you're not sure on something that you can do, we will help you find an option for you. You got it. Right here. Whew. Come on. 18 seconds. I should stop talking. That's why my heart rate's so high. <laughs> we got this. Up and over. We're going into karaoke. Eight seconds. Kind of cross front, cross back, side to side. Here we go, right, right there. Step front, step back, as many times to one side as you have space for. Move your body, right? That's what all my Tabata playlists say. Move your body, and that's how they say it. <laughs> come on, come on. You got it, my friends. Just four moves left after this one. Four minutes and about 25 seconds of work. 
you can do it. You can always slow it down a little bit if you need to. You can always pick it up a little bit if you need to. You got it. Perfect. You look great, Val. Awesome, Indy. Tara, gorgeous. I love that room you're in, Tara, with all those windows. We're going into squat, front kick, right here. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Yes. Yes, you can. That's right. Nice. Down and up, down and up. Come on, flex that foot as you kick. You're kicking out with your heels. You got it. New class alert, my friends. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday. Box and blast. Be there. Be there or be square. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You got it right there. And then also those 3.30 p.m. classes. Most of you have figured that out by now. They've all moved to 4 p.m. So the 3.30 p.m. classes have moved to 4 p.m. So those were some changes on the schedule. Just make sure, check it out. No chair fit tomorrow. Chair fit is on Mondays now. So that was another change. All right, you got it. Right here, skips, skips. Three minutes of work. Drive it up, up. Up, up, yes. Woo, you don't hear me breathing so hard. You look great, Daniela. Come on. All right, I gotta stop talking to it for a second. <laughs> Catch my breath, woo. You ladies are working me. Come on, come on. We got this 20 seconds right here. And then two moves to go. Kick up our heels and run or squat, heel, heel kick, whichever kind of you choose. Come on, five seconds right here. You got it, two and one. So right, we can squat curl or we can kick up and go for a run. You can kind of paddle, pump your arms also if you like. To find that place where this move feels just right to you and challenge yourself a little bit. Yeah, you got it, Lauren. Awesome, Indy. Looks great, Diane, Ali, Sarah. Hang on, 20 seconds and one more move. We got this. We're here. You've got all those options. I want to make sure you know your options, what you could take. So if you like bouncy, great. It's okay to bounce if you like it. You can get as bouncy as you like. When we are bouncing though, we wanna make sure we're bouncing off the ball of the foot, not flat footed. Right? The ball of the foot's our shock absorber. Let's go, back kicks right here. Now, if anybody wants to for this final round of back kicks, you wanna place your hands on the ground and take these little, Donkey kicks here, go for it, right? You don't have to, but that brings a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of core into that. So feel free to take those little donkey kicks, hands on the ground, anybody? Yeah, we get a couple of you taking them. Oh yeah, you all are amazing. And if you can press all the way up there and hold a handstand, I don't know, I'll tell Rochelle you need a prize. <laughs> Oh, Rochelle, that person needs a prize. You were like super close to that, ladies. Oh, every once in a while, I can get it. I can hold it. We've got about 10 seconds to go right here. Hang on to it. You got it, Jill. Awesome, Daniela. Nice, Fran, Val, Tara. Three, two, and one. Woo. Tap it out. Let your body move. Right, take about a minute. We're transitioning into our stretch. You wanna let that heart rate come down a little bit, right? A little tapping. Are your girls doing it, Lauren? I can see you talking to somebody off the camera. Are your kids doing it? Oh, it's just Brooks right there. I thought you were doing a handstand for us, Brooks. <laughs> I wanted to see. Whew. All right, my friends, five more seconds here. Catch your breath. We will start our stretch standing. 
If you're coming in for stretch express, welcome. Whew. Breather. Oh, he's coloring a picture. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know if y'all all can see, but Brooks made a beautiful picture. You're doing an awesome job, Brooks. All right, my friends, let's stretch it out. Let's start with a big inhale of the arms up. I like to keep you standing here in the beginning and take a bend over to your right side. You can keep your hands kind of interlaced to pull or you can gently pull on your left forearm. My stance is wide, my knees are soft. If you still feel very winded, just keep tapping it out a little bit longer. Otherwise, we'll start with these standing stretches. Welcome, Rochelle. Welcome, Linda. Uh, and then come up center and over to the other side. Remember, again, you can interlace the fingers or you can gently pull on the right forearm. We'll eventually make our way down to the ground, but I wanna give you a little more time to catch your breath. And so we'll start with some of these upper body, really getting through the rib cage. And then come on up from here, take your right hand, pat yourself on the back. You can reach around and use your left hand. Now don't round forward here, keep the chest up and gently kind of pull in on the right tricep. So you feel that nice stretch. You got it. Because I know you did a lot of upper body in other classes, even though not in this class. You wanna get that nice tricep stretch. Mine are like still sore from last week. Ah, oh, right there. Nice. And then switch that out. Chest is up. Gently pull in on the tricep right there. If you can't reach the tricep, no worries, right? Just come where you can. We'll get that stretch through the tricep. Awesome. Right there. And then we'll release. Let's take the legs out wide. Y'all know I love to do this stretch in this class. Hinge forward. My head is still above my heart. Drop the right shoulder in. Lengthen through the spine so that you kind of lift your chest and then twist from the navel through to the chest, through the neck as you look over the left shoulder. My back is not rounded, it's nice and long. So those of you that just did shred, shred right, you're slowly kind of feeling like you can catch your breath, you have control again. And then we'll come back center, readjust, drop the left shoulder, lengthen and open the chest, and then twist. Ooh, I got a little spinal adjustment on that one. So sometimes you will, don't try to force a pop. If it happens easily, and it's your body doing its thing. This gets right under the shoulder blades. And come center. So we're gonna go into hip flexor stretch. You have options. We'll bring the right leg forward, left leg back. If it feels better to you to stay up high like this, you can stay up high and raise that left arm, or you have that option to come all the way down onto the knee. Lean forward a little bit more. Again, raise the arm. You don't have to, to get that stretch down the left leg. So if it doesn't feel good to put the knee down, you do not have to put the knee down. Welcome Chrissy, welcome Liz. Welcome everybody joining us for stretch. Yeah, this class, my friends, you come for part, you come for all. It's completely up to you. We just kind of combined the two little 15 minute classes because it just made sense. A couple of more breaths here. Feel that stretch through your quad, through your hip flexor. Nice. Now, if you're down on the knee, gently rock back, flex your right foot here. If you're standing, right, same thing, just rock it back in here. Nice. So whichever position works best for you. And breathe. So it's a little quiet at VFIT right now, right? We have some programs that are in process, in progress. But remember my friends, we have signature series that is always open for signups. So if you are looking for a little more one-on-one -on -one accountability, nutrition training, um, how to deal with maybe holiday stress coming up, reach out. We are here for you. And we know holidays can bring all kinds of challenges with nutrition, stress, accountability, right? all of that. 
So let us know myself and Linz M do some yoga therapy. I can do like coaching, personal training, kind of just about, uh, can't do nutrition. <laughs> Lauren's our nutrition expert. See her. Bridget is our accountability expert. Um, Maria also does personal training. So we got you covered. All right, my friends, we're going to switch that out. So again, you can be standing, you can be down on your knee. Did I catch everybody? If I left anyone out, I'm sorry. Please let me know. Lauren or Rochelle, I think I got everybody that's doing, doing the one-on-ones. Uh, right there. Use that arm if you like. Feel the stretch. And we do packages too. So you can, you can actually work with all of us. Just like great, awesome, awesome program to be able to get a little bit of everything. Because even though Lindsay and I both do kind of yoga therapy, we have our specialties. You know, Maria and I both do personal training, right? There's there's some differences. Uh, and then gently bring that back for the hamstring stretch. It's right there. Those of you that did shred, you should feel like that heart rate is definitely down now. This is a great class to just kind of go through the whole range of heart rate zones. Nice. And right there, go ahead and we'll come on to all fours. We're gonna take our knees. We're gonna to start to let them slide out wide away from each other. So there's that little angle. And we're just gonna kind of come down onto our forearms. This is frog stretch. If you do not like it, straddle is great um, and butterfly is great. But from here, once the knees are out wide, gently press the tailbone back so you feel just the right amount of stretch in your inner thighs. If you're pretty flexible and you're like, oh, I need way more than this, then you take your toes, you flex them, you slide them away, and then press the tailbone back again. That gets even deeper into the inner thighs. Or again, if you don't like that, there is straddle here or butterfly here, both of which will get into the inner thighs. But the key is kind of pressing that tailbone back. You find the just right stretch. And then maybe a little nod. Yes or no of the head, releasing the neck. Hmm. And breathe. Slow and easy breath now. Couple of breaths more. Now we'll lift up through our upper body. Gently slide our legs in together, coming into child's pose or puppy. So if you like puppy, that's where you can keep the bottom up a little. It's gonna be a little deeper stretch or you can let the glutes sink back onto the heels your knees can still be slightly apart or together, really whatever is most comfortable for you. And take a minute here in child's pose and notice your breath. Invite a little more relaxation into your eyes. Releasing your jaw. And 
relax your shoulders, your torso, your glutes. And then slowly come up to four, all fours one more time for some nice, easy cat cows. So just inhale, let the belly release. And as you exhale, oh, round up through the back, tuck the chin. And just repeat that at your pace. You can do it with your breath, slow and easy. Or if you find that you prefer one position more than the other, feel free to stay there a little while. Knowing that oftentimes it's the position that we don't love that we might need to stay a little longer. No more breaths here. And then from here, we'll come on down on to kind of the hips. And you have an option here. You can take sphinx, so down on your forearms, gently squeeze the glutes, lift and open the chest. So we're lengthening through the front of the torso. Or you can go ahead and step the hands in a little bit, come up higher into cobra. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, hug the elbows into the ribs for support and lengthen through the torso. So this is the cow part of the stretch, just a little deeper. So you can always stay in the cow stretch if you prefer. Gently squeeze the glutes, that'll support your low back. You think about pulling the ears away from the shoulders, lifting the heart. and then gently lowering down. You can press up onto your knees, slide your knees under you. And we're gonna come into, we're gonna start in a seated position and then I'll invite you down to the floor if you choose. So coming into the seated happy baby. So reaching around for the bottoms of your feet, take your chin, tuck it into the chest. So we're, we're kind of in a seated rabbit because we're all tucked in. And this gives a little bit more stretch through the back. Then from here, you can stay here lifting your head and just be in seated happy baby. Or this is where you can roll back coming into happy baby from your back. But just if it doesn't feel good to you to come to the floor, you can stay in seated happy baby or even seated rabbit or you can go back to child's pose. But we're looking for a place where now our spine just gets to be a neutral. We're not flexing it, we're not extending it. We're just letting it be a neutral. Focus on your breath. Feel the inhale, take a nice full breath. Oh, feel the exhale. You can even sigh softly out the mouth. Oh. And then from here, you can take your legs, extend them one way, your arms the other, just ending with a nice long full body stretch. Again, if you're not laying on the floor, you could come up to seated and take a standing full body stretch, or you could stay seated and just kind of stretch any way you like. Oh, just take again a nice breath in. Ah, oh, and a nice breath out. And then if you have a few more minutes in your day, this is a perfect time to allow the arms to just come to your side and oh, take a little shavasana or maybe take a few minutes to just sit quietly, checking in with your breathing, your thoughts, checking in with yourself, or of course, my friends, we have reached the end of our time. So if you are gotta get back to whatever it is you're doing, 
thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye everybody.